Hey guys, what's up? It's Cam here, and I'm playing a game called Terraria, which is an RPG which is much akin to Minecraft, except it has a little bit more story in it. And uh, it's it's kind of the same in you have to like build a house and survive and fight monsters, and when it's dark, monsters come out, that kind of thing. Ooh, corruption over there. But um, uh, this playthrough is going to be a little different. I, I have played the game before, and I pretty much got to the end game gear kind of stage of it and um, <clears throat> I decided to play on hardcore mode so if my character dies that's it uh, that's the end the end of the playthrough I guess it gets deleted straight away so yeah um, right what you want to start off by doing is building a little house um, uh, it might seem like exactly the same as Minecraft but um, on this game you like you build a house and then people come to live in it and you can buy stuff off them and that. It has servers as well, so you can play multiplayer on it, but it's a little harder to do. Let's go see what's over. Well, we should probably build a house first. Let's just finish this house off. Um, we'll build it that high. Yeah, that's high enough. Okay. Obviously, we need to leave a gap so we can get in. And there's a crafting system on it as well, so you want to make a workbench. And there's a slime. Let's go kill it. Oh, I hate this crappy short sword thing. You you don't get any swing in it. It's really hard to hit the stuff. Um, if you want to buy this game, you can get it off Steam, I believe it is, for about fiver. I think it's about fiver now. I brought it when it first came out for six quid. So I... yeah, but it's a it's a definitely a good buy. Like. I've probably played, I don't know, around a couple of days worth of gameplay. Um, but yeah, it's it's a solid game, it has bosses and all sorts in it. Definitely worth getting. For, for, for value for money, it's definitely worth it. There we go, we've got a door. Let's put a bit wall. I think you have to have walls for someone to move in. And you create torches. There's a lighting system when it gets dark as well. But you have to get the gel slimes, which is what I just killed beforehand. Alright, let's quickly build this house. Shouldn't take too long. Chum chum chum. No. This guy's like this guy's the most skilled person ever. He has like carpentry skills and everything. What kind of guy can do everything? Like build walls. Craft pretty much anything he wants. I guess it's a game, so he's excused. Oh, oh, I know. He's an alien. He's an extraterrestrial. That's why he's green from another planet. He can do anything. All right, we need torches next. Let's go kill these slimes over here. Uh, sort. Die. Oh, killed the rabbit. Owned. Yeah, that's the um starting guide guy over there. Imagine. Um, hey, there's a rabbit in my house. Let's keep him. He can be a pet. Pet rabbit. We call him Billy. Oh, what the fudge. Retarded. There's two pet rabbits. Um, what was I making? Torches. Yeah, so the objective of this game is pretty much to just like build an epic house and get people to move in. Um, oops, put one outside. Oh, that'd be. I'll do for now. Um, when you start off, you pretty much want to see if you can find some kind of cave or something. Get as much wood as you can. <clears throat> so yeah, I've got to be really cautious on this though, because if I die, that's it, game over. There's also full damage. Ah, oh, copper, just what we need. Um, let's torch down here. Yeah, see, there's a lot of, lot of bad guys under uh, in this cave. You want to be careful of stuff falling on top of you as well, because they can quite easily kill you. 